we welcome back to our program four-time Olympian Joetta Clark Diggs. Joetta, so good to see you. Nice to see you too, Laura. Well, I got to start off about this badminton scandal. What's your take? Well, you know what? When I look at that, I think of that sometimes as maybe a strategy. A strategy. It may very well be a strategy, but I don't know the parameters of badminton. Mm -hmm. However, in track and field and other sports, I do know. Mm -hmm. And we do things that work within the parameters of the sports to advance us to hopefully get the gold medal. So in other words, sometimes you hold back until the end, you save some fuel in reserve, and so there could be another side to the story. There could be. I always say there's two sides to the story, mm -hmm. and, you, and people do hold back sometimes. All right, well, let's talk a little bit about what is going on inside the minds of Olympians as they're preparing for an event. I mean, I can't imagine the pressure, the stress, the excitement, the range of emotions. You know, it's two-sided. If you compete earlier, you're done with by now. If you compete later on, you have to hang around the village longer and watch everyone have fun while you have to stay focused. Do you have fun or are you so nervous? Well, you have fun uh, when you're done. Yeah. That's why it's good to get, get done <laughs> earlier than they wait till the end of the competition and then you're watching everyone sightsee and things like that. You can't do any of that right. if you compete later on in the Olympic Games. Yeah, one of the things I found interesting in watching the opening ceremonies is many of the uh, people who were doing the swimming earlier, they couldn't even march in. Were you able yeah. to march in? I did sometimes, mm -hmm. but back when I was competing, track and field was early, mm -hmm. the first day of competition. So the next day we competed, and we were on your, on your legs all day long, so we could not do that. But I always did the closing ceremonies as well. Right, right. So do you think that there are more female athletes that are starting to become national names? You hear so much about people like Michael Phelps when you talk about the greatest Olympians of all times. Women don't always rise to the top of the list. Well, it just depends on what the sport is. And, uh, and as everything is a media, so they gravitate to certain stories. Mm -hmm. But I think that women are doing well, and they know us uh, across the world. Uh, in different sports. Do you think that this year, 2012, are they featuring more women athletes? I mean, you've got the, of course, gymnastics, you know, the, yeah. the, the women's team. Are they featuring more or anything different? I think it's about the same. About I look the at same. the men, I see men, I see women, I see uh, commercials for both of them. So I think they're trying to have a nice balance and that's good. All right, so who are your favorite athletes competing this time around? Well, I pretty much have been going off with my daughter. She loves all the gymnasts, so I follow mm -hmm. them with her. Of course, track and field, mm -hmm. uh, basketball. Mm -hmm. And I've been watching, the, you know, I like, I like the rowers, mm -hmm. so I like that sport as well. All right, let's go back to your time at the Olympics. You went four times? Yes, I did. Four times. What did you cherish the most about it? I think that I, I like 2000, my last one, mm -hmm. the most. Mm -hmm. I competed best in 92. I have on the 92 jacket now. Mm -hmm. so that was my oh, that, oh, I didn't realize that. Hold on. Can we get a shot of that? So yeah. this is the official 1992 Olympic jacket. Olympic jacket. And of course, you competed in the summer games, being yes. track and field. Yes. Okay. All right. Very nice. And so I was Made in the USA, I hope. Yeah, I, I think it was. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Right. And so that, that was my best competition. So, mm -hmm. And I like that, that game in, in Spain as well. Right, right. Okay. Um, when you were competing, again, um, what are some of the things going through your mind as you watch your fellow teammates win, as you may have a performance that isn't what you would have hoped it would have been? That's very important. Everyone there knows what they want to do, and there's a reality piece. For me, my first Olympic Games, I really wasn't going to medal. But the other ones, I wanted to medal. And when you don't do that, you get upset. You see your friends getting medals, and you're happy for them, but you also want to do well. And you have to kind of pull it together, because many times athletes have more than one event. So if you get done with one, you can't get too down on yourself, because you have to be ready for your next competition. All right, so your specific event is, is track. Track and field, 800 meters. Is there any other event, had you not competed in that area, that you say, hmm, I think I'd like to try that out? Um, in, track, uh, in track and field, I probably would have liked to do the 40 meter hurdles, mm -hmm. but another sport, I would have liked tennis. Mm. I think I would like to have done that, but when I was do in my prime time, tennis was not an Olympic sport. Right, right. So what do you think about the coverage and everything that's going on with the Olympics right now? Um, you know, you're getting hot and cold reception. Uh, some people are really into it. Some are saying, I don't really know as many names this time around. Yeah. What do you think overall of the, well, the I've coverage? Been, I've been following. They've been doing a great job. I sit and watch it with my daughter and we have a good time watching oh, it. Nice. We could be t it now. Mm -hmm. All this technology you have now, you can catch everything on YouTube if you miss something. So it's a lot of information out there. and I th think they're doing a good 
good job with the coverage. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got about a minute left. Yes. Final thought, any predictions? Well, I predict track and field starts tomorrow, so we'll do well on the track. Our gymnasts will do well, I think, as also. Basketball teams seem to be primed to win gold. So I think that we will get a, a, a lot of gold medals, and they always look at the count, the number count. So I think that the Americans will, will do well. All right, how old's your daughter? She's 10. She's 10. Does she have any Olympic aspirations? Well, she does, but because of the family, but we'll take that one step at a time. Right. Okay, so you're not pushing her into it. Absolutely. You're going to let her try and develop that She'll herself. She'll figure it out. Figure it out herself. All right, well, Joanna, it's so good to have you here. Thank you for having me, Laura. All right, and by the way, it's a beautiful necklace. You can't maybe necessarily see it, but she's got the five gold rings yes. on her necklace. It's beautiful. Thank and thank you, you for thank being you. here.